Hello everyone this is Anj from Bitten Tech and in this video we are going to talk about the internet protocol what does it mean what are the different types of ip their uses and significance in international networking so let's get started So what is an IP? The internet protocol is an address assigned to each and every device or hardware connected to a network. It is used to uniquely identify a computer on the internet and allows it to communicate with other devices over the internet. It is an number system separated by dots. Since there are millions of devices working simultaneously over the internet, there should be a system to identify each device separately. to ensure systematic flow of data just like a house or a building of an organization has its own unique address in a city each device on the internet has its own unique ip if i want to send a package to my friend living in a different city i need to specify his address to the courier service so that it may reach the right place same is the case over the internet now let's talk about the various types of ip addresses Number 1 private IP or local IP These addresses are used to identify devices inside a network such as a Wi-Fi network which we usually run at home they may be assigned manually or automatically by the dynamic host configuration protocol they are often written as 192.168.x.y where x and y are numbers between 0 to 255 but well it will depend on the gateway ip of the router of the network number 2 public ip they are used on outside of the network and assigned by the internet service providers it is main ip which your device uses to communicate over the wide area network and all of the internet it allows us to visit websites and connect to any server or a computer around the world now both private and public ip addresses can be static or dynamic A static IP address is that which does not change after a period of time. It is configured manually by the user. It is usually assigned in case of a local network hosted by routers and modems. Having a static IP makes it easy to identify someone, especially when you are hosting a website or a server which needs a static IP or host configured. Your ISP can also provide you a static IP address. but it will cost you some money as keeping an ip static consumes resources a dynamic ip is that address which changes over specified period of time in a local network this is assigned by the dhcp server and on a public network it is provided by the isp but if you are thinking that you carried a hack attack with the previous ip then you currently have you will not get caught then you are wrong Your ISP keeps a track of all dynamic IPs assigned to your device and can easily make out when it was assigned. Dynamic IPs are more flexible and easy to implement. So that's all about the types of IPs and their meanings. I hope you liked it. If you have any suggestions or queries, do let me know in the comment section. Make sure to like, share and subscribe if you are keen to learn ethical hacking and technology stuff. So until next video, stay tuned. Keep watching. and goodbye